Hello and welcome to this particular session on business models and we're going to look at diagrams, process diagrams and process models. Okay. Now there are two types because they look at the information in two different ways. One looks at the perspective of a, say a flow of one piece of information through a system or look at the systems as the information flows through them. So uh, we're going to have a look at a couple of flow diagrams first of all. So the first one looks at a sequence of events where we have some information coming in and it may look at uh, some processes that take place like this for example and then they come out at a point here and then they go to the next level here so we break down that level and then we may have some flows going up this way for example and this may take a different direction and then come out at the bottom. And the reason for that is that we may be splitting this up into three different processes, for example, or uh, different areas of process. So something comes at the top here and from a particular perspective, say for instance, you go to a bank and you're paying your money in. Um, from a customer point of view, the money comes in here, it goes through the bank teller system and it goes through a particular process into one area and then comes out the bottom at the other area. You might be paying, paying some money in you may get a receipt at the end of it. Or you may be placing a big ticket order for something. So the order comes in through that system. Right? Now this is looking at it from the flow of the money in this particular case. Right? Now in the case of the, um, the other perspective, it may be from the customer perspective where we have the customer at this point in, point in time. Right? They will bring the money in through a process and that goes through a sequence of events in one particular area like this for example. And then there's a link between these two that go into the next level and then out further down the path here, for example. And there may be, therefore, another alternative route up this way. But it's looking at it from the customer's point of view. I'm bringing my money in. Where does it go through the teller system? And then the, money, the teller will give me a receipt and then the money goes into my bank. So one is looking at it from the flow of the process of what happens through the network and the different areas involved in it. The other one is looking at it from the customer, a particular uh, eyeball view of one where the customer is seeing what's happening with, with their system and going through the different processes with it. What it does help to do is unravel any particular process that are in place, whether they're bottlenecks, you give an idea what the flow is, and it is really from one side to the other and way out the bottom. Okay. Uh, the great thing is that sometimes you can help you understand where we've got business processes going on within an organization or part of the organization. Remember, subroutines can happen too, where we can see what's happening. Um, and maybe find out where there are interruptions. A number of years ago, I was looking at a process for a, a government body in the UK where they were looking at asylum seeking, for example, and they had three major areas of asylum seeking where there was the information coming in where we took onboarding, we had onboarding here, onboard, we would process and, and assess here, assess, and then there'd be the release. And each of these would have their own processes inside them. Right? So there'd be a series of processes going on here, but this would be from the perspective of the asylum seeker themselves. They'd be going through that, that, and that. They would see that particular routine. Otherwise, they might turn it all around and see how it is from the government perspective of that person going through a flow. Right? That way they could work out what the, battle not, battle not, the bottlenecks were and where we might need to make some changes to that. It's always very important to understand where things are happening right now. And this is one of the key things that business analysts really need to do, is to try and wheedle out of people what is actually going on. Because sometimes they're doing things that have changed because they needed to or because the process wasn't working, or sometimes they just find a, a shortcut. And you've got to work out, is the problem because of what they're doing or is the, the, what they're doing because there was a problem in the first place and you needed to work all that out. And that's part of the analysis as well from a business analyst perspective. And sometimes this type of flow can help you do that. You can really track and see where things are happening and where they're not happening, where they should be. And sometimes it's just because we, we've, we've circumvented a particular process. Short circuit, if you like. Anyway, this is just to give you an idea of business domain, business process models, diagrams and models. Thank you.